Right, hi. So this will be part two, and uh, I've just drunk some water, and hopefully my eyes don't look so drained, because that's usually what it is, dehydration. Anyway, so I want to talk about what I just said. Well, actually, I want to think about what I just said, and what I just got through meditation, but I thought I'll do it out loud. Okay, and you're probably going to see the top of my head a lot. So, I just said that the bottom part of the spirit world, the hells, you know, the agonizing area, has actually, are now at this point, gone. Now, I'm not saying that just happened suddenly like that. But since the last time I checked, <laughs> or the last time I felt that there were there were still areas where people were, and yes, it fits in with that um, prediction about the uh, the heavens roll up like a scroll. Well, that's A.J. Miller who's interpreted it that way. That that's what he thought would happen. And it feels as though it's happened. <coughs> <coughs> and um, it's funny, I've had in my head all day today, Don't stop believing. That song. Um, sorry. I'm going to be making a nice of uh, coffee, so uh, pardon, pardon my um, thing, let me see if I can sing it. Don't stop believing, yeah, it's good. So, Good news. Sorry about that. Um, so, you know, that's right, yeah, because in a video a little while back I said, um, I said we're at that point in Revelations where there are cheers in heaven. Um, but sort of there was still some more things to go on earth um, and that was about a month ago a couple of months ago so you know but the thought just you know the feeling let me say because it's like I'm sitting there feeling what comes up and I sort of thought about, you know, all our souls together. Because I was th thinking about, sort of, you know, how sometimes I, um, well, that I don't usually try and reach specific sp spirits who have died. Sometimes I do. Most often, it's people on earth, and most, a lot, you know, my soulmate, whoever I think it is at the time, <laughs> and God, you know, which is what I try and do mostly. 
But, um, you know, I have on occasion gone, gone to the spirit world in, in my thoughts, in my... And then, see, sometimes the feeling triggers the thought. And sometimes the thought triggers the feeling. Or perhaps they're triggering each other, but... You do. I do definitely get to some stages where the thoughts just shut off, and I'm just feeling, and that's that's the best. But you know, sometimes you get images in your mind. Sometimes you get. You know, quite often you you can find words which kind of fit. But the words on their own aren't aren't enough. And it's, you know, even harder than when you communicate something to somebody else. Especially when it's about feelings. Because because yeah, they're amazingly hard to describe. And they go, you know, f the feeling is everything. It's dominant over this physical universe. You know, when we're in this physical universe, things feel hard, they feel real. But when you're in a, in a dream or in sleep state spirit world when you're in that dimension that dimension feels hard and real and then this one wouldn't seem so real but the most realist dimension is the dimension where our souls are that's the that's uh, that's even realer and the soul dimension is dominant over the physical dimension. So today I was just thinking I'm going to just feel what comes up. And um, what sort of start, what came up was I had a nice, in a sense, new way of... Because what, what's been happening before, I'd sit down for five or ten minutes. And then I start feeling. And then I'm into it. And, and then the feeling is... Is, is sort of easy, it's, you're in there. Um, but it's only today that I actually sort of envisaged how it shifted, how this physical universe sort of like, sort of shifted out of the way of my, my awareness in a sense, and this other, then I'm in this other, Dimension universe, if you like. I mean, I wasn't wasn't like I was zero percent, but my focus, my everything, my intention was then in another thing, and it's like I could, I could keep her. Like it wasn't. So if that was like a dream, you wouldn't keep an awareness, even a, a lesser awareness of of the awake state the awake place so 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 it's so it's not like i fell asleep and went into a dream so it just zoom and then i was feeling and it's like as soon as you're feeling it's like you know it's a bit like an an engine running inside of you it's, but it's not as noisy or clattery or anything like that but sort of the, an ener energy anyway and it's good so, so yeah, so then, so my thoughts sort of, or my, I won't say thoughts, my intentions drew towards wanting to know how the sum of the spirit world was feeling. Because some, because yes, I was sometimes, my intention is to feel how all souls are feeling, or specific souls, or, yeah. But sometimes there's this, there's this, this, I felt, feel like I can feel like what the sun feels like. 
yeah, and it just and it just sort of came to me in a, a nice because I've been getting some good feelings. Uh, I don't think I've said this in the video. No, I don't think I have. Just said it to a few people. But um, where I've had quite deep sort of feelings before, and a colour is involved, and again, it's so difficult to describe, but anyway, it's good. And there's this yellow aspect, like a yellow dawn, like the, the sun is at dawn, so that nice, beautiful yellow. So, it was like I saw the so there's levels of the spirit world and it was like yeah the, the 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 lower parts empty so that they'd sort of disappeared in a sense into nothingness and then that and it was all yellow <laughs> it was all sort of yellow and it was all yellow do, 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 do. that's quite interesting for me but uh, something I not have permission to tell um, yet. We'll see. It's somebody else's story. But um, yeah. So yeah. So feeling really good and positive. That's uh, that is very good and positive. And so soon to follow will be the um, the lessening of spirit influence because those um, spirits who are still earthbound, who know they they've probably got some comeuppance when they go through to the spirit world. knowing that wow everyone in the hells has progressed and gone up is going to motivate them um, to get going themselves they don't want to then be left behind whereas when the hells were busy I guess they were really reluctant go and make them busier. You can understand that. Um, I mean I shouldn't say what we're going to get but I've already already started because um, the pain in my feet thing I haven't really had for quite a while and um, as soon as that happened it's like knock 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 on my heel that familiar feeling was there again and so I spent you know probably an hour or so um, doing that and that's that's the sort of stuff I've been I was doing all through pretty much all through 2016 wondering when it would end interesting and I have to believe to make it work when I don't believe it doesn't work Okay. Um, I suppose more thoughts on that. Really, there's not much more to think about with that. Really, is there? It is what it is. It's getting better. Let's be happy. <laughs> Trump is. 
it's definitely a big component of this change. Um, But whether he's aware of it or not, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But sometimes he doesn't seem very wise. But he seems to sort of manage. But we'll see. If he keeps going with the God thing, then... Um, and that's good. That's good. Oh yeah, I was gonna do um, try and set out like the twelve truths. <laughs> Something I could put down a statement. Do 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 do. Like, but. Probably do it in less than that. I did it in nine. <clears throat> so, God, God, and the children. We're both souls made in God's image. It's an eternal soul. It's like male and female, male and female expressions. So God is mother and father, and we, the children, are all we're all brothers and sisters in one family. And yes, love, love is the answer. God is the universe. We're in God. We are on Earth. <laughs> There's a physical and spiritual dimension. And then we've got the soul dimension in the soul universe. And um, they're not really 12 truths, are they? <laughs> When you can feel your soul, your soul has the functions or the connections to God. I mean, just just accept that the truth is awesome. Be a believer. Be a believer. Because I, if I didn't believe, I wouldn't feel anything. You've got to believe it, and then you then you put trust in what right whatever I'm going to feel, I'm going to put up with. You will be disturbed, but endure, and you will be astonished. Interesting what's been happening to me a bit lately, and I'm s I haven't had the final conclusion yet, so still it's a faithful thing to be in. But um, so I was offered something really good, something kind of almost too good to be true, and. So it didn't happen straight away and still hasn't happened. So while I, I was just waiting and sort of kind of not believing and stuff. And all that time, I mean my car doors have been playing up, but they got worse. My car doors got worse, like I have to get in the passenger side and stuff like that. 
and, and my lighter wasn't working. And then when I, so then I, so t today, so I, I started to believe and um, felt better, felt like, oh, this is what, you know, it was trying to show me something. And my light has worked. Since then, each time I've tried it, my light has worked. Do I believe? I believe I can fly I believe I can touch the sky Think about it every night and day Spread my wings and fly away Someone gave me a gift. Do you think this is bad? Old Indian picture. No, not bad, is it? I mean, made it clear, you know, it's not an idol. I mean, I think, yeah, I think, you know, in a perfect world, when Utopia comes, I think we're going to be nomadic. We're not going to live in one, one place. What's the point? Why own something? Why should anyone own land? Interesting. Yeah, it kind of makes me think of Abraham. And uh, yes, meditation the other day. I was, um, I had a kind of revelation that made me change my soulmate back to someone I thought it was before. And um, then, so later on, another day, I was feeling that feeling of my soulmate. And then I was remembering the feeling that I had who I thought my soul, it might have been the same day actually, the feeling I had when I thought it was my soulmate before. And so I was like, oh God, <laughs> what, you know, I'm confused, why? God was like, chill man, analyse that feeling. And I analysed and I realised the way it was coming in, was it was male love. So when this first happened, I felt it was different from female love because it was my soulmate sort of thing. And I realised who it was likely to be and then he got knocked. So he was sending me love every time I thought um, somebody else was my soulmate. And that's why I was allowing it in because it was it was love. I know this is complicated, believe me, it's anyway, who am I talking to? Myself probably. <laughs> so so that's, yeah, then I was able to decipher it and understand it. Yeah, he got knocked and I could even feel him sort of try and gnaw at me, at this feeling and this 
image and this feeling. Right, the front of the forehead. I think when something comes to the front of your forehead, it's like they want to dominate you, or they want to, quite often, things come into my forehead have been spirits who want me to think they're God. So I have, I've heard, you know, or I've, maybe I've mentioned to people, oh, if it comes to the front of your forehead, it probably won't be God. Now the way I, I mean, God, God's feeling is pure and smooth. If you think everything has an energy to it, a movement, God's is so pure and smooth and obviously can get Massively, massively powerful, probably infinitely powerful again. Let's just say that, for example. Um, but other spirits can be really nice, can be warm, but there'll always be a slight frequency to them. There'll be a, a fuzz and a pop, or you know, they they won't ever be as pure and smooth as as God. So, because earlier, yeah, I did have God at my forehead, yeah. and it was God. So, I mean, I have, you know, you can feel God in so many different ways. So many different ways. Um, the best way for me lately, I like, is when, you know, I'm feeling God is absolutely all around me, and that... That's the truth anyway. God is all around us all the time. Um, yeah. And um God at God at the temples is is, is for me the the quickest and the easiest I can I can get that. Um, God's love entering my soul from the top here for male and from the bottom, from female, coming into my soul and into my heart, that that is an a special and awesome feeling. That's um, and it it takes patience, and you know you have to really want it in a sense. It's weird. It's weird. Um, earlier, I had God's the feet when it when he, he she came to my forehead. And then, you know, then it wasn't separated, it was like, together. And then I could, and then I was feeling like I was washed, just been washing in it. <laughs> <clears throat> and then towards the end of my meditation, I was, I was welcoming these, these souls who want to get to God, and they... They had to come in kind of through my root chakra of my soul because even though I feel it kind of on my body when when it works when it moves is when I accept that this is this is happening in my soul so they're coming in there at my root chakra and and I'm and I've got you know enough love in me to to bring them up on through to God and then it's it's quite tiring, and then I kind of need to fill up. So, because <laughs> then I notice they don't, it doesn't move. They don't come once I've become a bit tired in my heart. But I've, in my mind behind me, I'm, I'm. It's darker because quite often I've got to a, a level of being very bright. Anyway, so then I have to get some more love in me for them to to entice them to come up and. As soon as I felt them in my soles of my feet, it's, it can be like a can get to a hot searing pain. It certainly was more so in the past, um, in the past year. But then, then they're in. If I get up and I go away and do something, the next time I meditate, or the the whole time they're in there, and I'm still going to have to go through this next stage kind of what, use it, 
it can build up quite a pressure here. It can be on my back. It can it can it can even then move to my lower back. But I'm going to have to get that done. Otherwise, it's not going to. Otherwise, it's going to stay there. Yeah, I mean that's what I've been doing. That's quite a limb to go out on, isn't it? <laughs> I tell you, it was quite a limb to go out on. I kept thinking, you know, might be wrong, but you know, might not be, and why not give it a go? You're probably not that impressed with the lighter working, but it's been for a month or more. It's been mostly working on the second time. Not mostly, but half time work on the second time. I did move the gas down, but I'd tried that before. Believe. <laughs> well, anyway, I worked it out. So it doesn't like too much gas. I'm sure I tried this before. Well, I'll see you anyway later if my if my car starts working. You work these things out. I had this before with um, with shoes. So just because I worked out how to get that light to work, whereas before, I, you know, about on the tenth time or twentieth time, right? So it was. A, there's been this period where this lighter has been annoying and not working. I like the colour because it's purple. Because it's like God. It's like red and blue. But. Yeah, I had this. So, uh, in the, and probably with my car, I'm going to spray some WD-40 in the in the in the lock thing. And I decided I was going to do that. You work these things out, but while they're plaguing you, they're kind of letting you know. You know, and for me, it was you know not believing that things. were as good as I'd hoped or, you know. Got to believe. Maybe that's what I'll call this video. Got to believe. Is that, it's not really catchy, is it? The power of belief. Just believe. Yeah. Yeah. Believe. Believe, my man. So, that's really good, isn't it? I want to clear up something. Um, I don't see myself as above everybody else just because I say I'm the Christ. And when I say me, I'm talking about my eternal half soul. And your eternal half soul, we're all equal in the sight of God. We're all children of God. We're all equal. But our physical body is, is the part we have to play on this earth. And some of us have been given Ferraris and some of us have been given Fiestas. Now I'm not saying I got a Ferrari. The people with the Ferraris, you know, the people with Ferraris, the, the rich people, the, the, you know, great life, luxury. 
and poor people who've had to, you know, I'm not saying they have suffered because there is compensation, but, you know, they, they've had their part to play. Maybe a road sweeper in consequential life. This time. But what I've had is a, say, a Mondeo, <clears throat> but God has tuned it so that it can drive on rainbows. <laughs> now, what I can do is I can tow your car onto a rainbow and then God can give your car the same tuning and then you can drive on the rainbow too. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. But but no, I, I've um I've decided it's the stuff that gets done on the soul level permeates into the physical. So that's all I'm doing. I'm going in feeling my soul. I mean that car analogy, that was just something I thought of the other day. It wasn't particularly in deep meditation or anything. Um, so going on the soul level, feeling what I feel, and if you've been watching my videos, you know, you should know I don't choose what comes up. I've had to face some things. I call myself faithful philosopher and I think I've had to be faithful to get through this, to get this far. And um, so much has happened that that I can now feel like I've got something I can bank on. Yeah, so I was going to say with the other example of uh, the lighter thing, uh, a couple of years ago I went to America and I brought these walking boots and I was planning to go for a nice walk. And... Um, when I got there and I started walking them, they are killing me. The, the left one was digging into the top of my foot so much. I could barely walk 30 paces without having to stop. <laughs> and it really screwed things up. And then I, I can't remember, I think, yeah, it was when I got back to England and and I worked out that I put the insoles in there, my leather insoles, which had made my feet too high. But when I worked it out, I wasn't, I was walking somewhere in a different pair of shoes, thinking about something completely different, but worked something out, and then Oh, and my shoes, I bet it's because I put the soles in them. So it, it immediately straightened out the physical manifestation of what was trying to tell my soul something. Something I wasn't getting. <laughs> so... Do you think I should film me going checking my car? I can't really do that with two hours. I can't bother. I'll put a thing in the comments if my car got sorted out. Anyway, um, I think I've probably talked long enough. Thirty nine. So, um, so yeah, don't do what I do and believe that it can't be good and things are going wrong. Why are things going wrong for me? 
because you're not accepting that things are great. Yeah.